Now we come to the part of special relativity that gets really awesome. We start to learn how time travel is possible. I like this picture right here from, uh, I don't know if you've ever seen this movie, it's called Back to the Future. Oh, what a good movie that was. I loved it, it's an 80s movie. Uh, well, they made three of them with Michael J. Fox. Awesome, awesome, awesome movies. Uh, but in any case, we're going to talk about what relates to Einstein here. I like this picture. Einstein developed a theory about space and it was about time too. So we're going to learn actually how time travel really works. Like this interested, interested in time travel, meet here last Thursday. Ha, ha. So here's how time travel works. It's very specific. It's called time dilation. Dilation implies something that's sort of, um, well, you could say it, to dilate means just sort of something to open up. Uh, you know, like just like contract means to sort of uh, go smaller. For example, your pupils can dilate. Uh, they can sort of contract or constrict. Uh, so in this case right here, the only way you can really go forward in time is relative to someone else because there's no real, it's an absolute time. So here's the idea. You can go kind of forward in time relative to someone else. So let's say, for example, um, you get on a spaceship. You can go really, really fast, like close to the speed of light or you know something relativistic where the speed of light is... Uh, is you know, you're going a considerable fraction of it. Let's just say you go near the speed of light for a long time, let's say a couple of years, and you come back to Earth. It really does mean that the time that you will have aged will be different than the people on Earth. So in that sense, when you come back, they will have aged more than you will have. Therefore, it's like you went forward in time because you'll think maybe only a few years went by where everybody else thinks a lot of years went by. That's why, again, we call it relativity because it's all relative. So you only go forward in time relative to someone else. So this is how it's going to work. So we have this really simple equation. What I love about Einstein, he was a master of so many things, but his equations sometimes were so short and to the point and powerful. Just like E equals MC squared, right? What a simple equation. Yeah, that's like, that's how stars work and how nuclear explosions and reactors work. I mean, it's insane. So in this case right here, we have delta T equals gamma delta T zero. So what that's going to be is delta t here is going to be the time measured by a stationary frame. Uh, this, let's say it could be in seconds, or it's often in years, if you're doing like time travel things with spaceships. Uh, now delta t zero, notice a little subscript zero here, that's a time measured by a frame where the events happen in the same place. We call this the proper time. This is going to be a key word here we need to know about, so it's called proper time. Okay, that's this delta T zero here, proper time. So that's the key one right here. Okay? And then we have this Lorentz factor, of course, which we learned about in another video. Uh, that's where we have this gamma. Don't forget what gamma is, right? Gamma is, uh, let me just write it down in case you forgot. Don't worry, gamma is uh, 1 over 1 minus V squared over C squared, and it's square rooted. You can look this up. You don't have to memorize it. Uh, so that's what this gamma is. It's a Lorentz factor. This is very helpful. Can you see how powerful it is? Because then you can just put it together like this and away you go. So this explains how time travel is possible. So let's do an example to make it uh, make sense here. So, uh, so you're going to be flying in a spaceship, let's just say. So here's you flying in your spaceship. Uh, I guess I need a spaceship here like this. There you go. And this is you and your spaceship. So you flying in your spaceship, you're going at a speed of 0.9 C, but this is measured by someone on Earth. So someone on Earth thinks that you're going 0.9 C. Okay, so this is like your buddy, your friend, someone over here on Earth. They're going to think uh, that you're flying by here. So maybe it's just uh, you, maybe there's two girls, it doesn't matter, right? Let's not be sexist. Um, so if we go like this, you're uh, flying in your spaceship. Uh, compared to uh, at a speed of 0.9 C, so 90% the speed of light. And you're gone for 10 years, again, as measured by someone on Earth. So after those 10 years, you return to Earth, which means at some point you went, and then maybe then you came back. Okay, and the person on Earth thinks that the time was 10 years. So how long will you think the journey took? So again, the key thing is, is just to write down the equation right here. So delta T equals lambda, uh, sorry, gamma delta T zero. Let's write that down. It always helps to tell the examiner you know what you're doing, right? So delta T equals gamma delta T zero. Now the question is then, all you have to figure out is who's measuring proper time and who's not. Proper time is the time measured by a frame where the events happen at the same place. 
What do we mean by that? In this case, think about this. If you're sitting in your spaceship, this whole thing that happened right here, to you, nothing happened. You just sat in your spaceship, you said, bye bye Earth. You sat there, did nothing for 10 years. Well, I guess not nothing, but you're probably bored. And you come back and say, hi Earth. Do you see that the events happen at the same place for you? So in that sense then, you and the spaceship measured proper time. That's the one that you measure. So in other words, we want this. And we could say this, we know delta t then. We know this. We know this, and we know that it equals uh, 10 years. Now the good news is you don't have to convert and uh, multiply by the speed of light all the time. You can just make it nice and easy like this. So let's, let's figure this out here. So what we're looking for then is we want to get delta t0 by itself. So delta t0, that's going to be, let's see here, that's delta t over gamma. Let's maybe figure out what gamma is then. So gamma is, remember, it's 1 over 1 minus v squared over c squared. You can look that up. So because we know the speed is, what was it, 0.9c, so we can say 1 over 1 minus 0 0.9, but it's supposed to be c, and all that is squared over c squared. And square rooted, of course. I just want to show you this, because after you've done it a long time, you'll get used to doing this, but I just want to show you how we do this. So don't forget, the 0.9 has to be squared as well as a c squared. So 0 0.9 times 0 0.9 is going to be 0.81, and that's going to be c squared over c squared. Do you realize the reason why we do this is the c squareds will cancel out. Don't forget there's a square root here. So because of this, then we can actually calculate this. So let's see here. Um, so we need to do one um, uh, over, um, let's see, we need to do one over 0.19, don't we? Or one over, sorry, square root of 0 0.19 that's what 1 minus 0.81 is. So let's do square root of 0.19 and we do 1 over that and I end up with a gamma of 2.29. Now that's not the answer but that's useful for the answer because can you see now finally I can do my final solution. My final answer here is going to be delta t0 equals, let's see, delta t which is a time measured by earth so that would be 10 over my gamma which is 2.29 and let's see what happens here. So 10 over this answer, that gets me 4.36, let's say, years. Now this is a little bit crazy. What this means then, think of this. So when you did your trip, you ended up thinking it only took 4.36 years. And yet everyone else on Earth thinks it was 10 years. Like they really will. So in other words, if you had a twin or something like that, they really will have aged 10 years. You'll have only aged 4.36 years. So in that sense, can you see, you went forward in time. Do you see that what happened? You went forward in time, if you think of it. So that's why I was like mind blown. It's like, what? So that's how this works. Isn't that kind of crazy? <laughs>